What is up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming NBA overlay DFS slate featuring the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. So let's dig right into it. We have Jason Tatum versus Jimmy Butler. 10.5 is a large number to swing by. So I'm staying away from that matchup. I think Jason Tatum easily beats him, but at the 10.5, I'm not on that one whatsoever. Jalen Brown versus Marcus Smart. I would hit the Jalen Brown at negative six as quickly as possible. I like that number a lot. Give me Jalen Brown over Marcus Smart. Gordon Hayward versus Daniel Tice. <clears throat> that 6.5 is swaying me a little bit. So I'm off of that matchup too. I mean, I see Gordon Hayward doing better, but he had an off game last game. And Daniel Tice went off a couple games ago. So I could see both sides of that one. Another one, we got our favorite guy of the night, Duncan Robertson versus Jay Crowder. Hit that number at plus 4.5 for Duncan Robertson. He comes through. He's been on fire. His shot has been falling. Law can load him. And last but not least, Bam out of Bio versus Kimba Walker. So, Kimba Walker is in inconsistent to me. One game, he does amazing. The next game, his shot doesn't fall. And then he's in trouble with the shot. I mean... I like Bam at a bio at the negative seven. I would hit that button at negative seven for sure before it goes up in the morning. So let's go over it one more time. No Jason Tatum versus Butler for me. No Gordon Hayward versus Daniel Tice. Jalen Brown should easily hit the negative six over Marcus Smart. Duncan Robertson, the shot falls again. I love him over Jay Crowder. And I love Bam at a bio negative seven over Kimball Walker. So I know it's a small footboard, guys. So just get your picks in while you can. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can get more videos out. Everything from y'all helps me out a ton. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope everybody has a good night. Have a good one, everybody.